Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Up until about five months ago, if you told me you could have a pot pie in a can with a delicious crispy crust, I would tell you you're talking crazy. But the people at Fray Bento's showed me that it can be done with a fantastically delicious, flaky, crispy crust. So now that I know it can be done, I want to find more pot pies in a can, preferably with crispy crust. So the other day, I was in my local Dollar General and I felt like I was cheating on my favorite Dollar Tree. But hey, we all need change from time to time. Just ask Bill Clinton. As I was wandering through my new atmosphere, I found this Hardy Creations by Denny Moore chicken pot pie in a can for a dollar. So I picked it up to give it a try. I'm assuming this does not have the nice crust because it says just to heat and serve over noodles or rice. Hearty dinner in minutes. Served over our favorites like noodles, rice, potatoes, stuffing, toast, or biscuits. As we all know, technically, that's not a pot pie. But... I get what they're trying to do, having you serve it over a starch since it doesn't have a crust. Let's go over the ingredients. And the first ingredient is chicken stock, and amusingly, it says contains flavor. Um, okay, chicken stock usually does. It's called chicken flavor. But basically what that means to me is it's artificially flavored. Then you see white chicken. Does that mean the chickens themselves are white or the meat is white? That sounds like a weird question, and one could automatically assume it means white meat chicken, but if you really think about it, if they don't specifically state white meat and only state white chickens, then it can be any kind of meat as long as the chicken is white, right? But then it does specifically say white meat chicken, but it also has other ingredients in parentheses like water, modified starch, salt, and sodium phosphates, which means the white meat chicken is ground, processed, bulked up, and formed into whatever pieces of chicken are in here. Why is it so hard just to put real unprocessed pieces of chicken in stuff? Then I see cream cheese next, which kind of makes me lose interest because I've never heard or thought about putting cream cheese in a pot pie. But I must carry on because I do this for you, the people, so you don't have to. This is a 20 ounce can and the suggested serving size is a half a cup, so there's five servings per can. Per half cup serving, there's 90 calories, five grams of total fat, two grams of saturated fat, zero trans fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 350 milligrams of sodium, eight grams of total carbohydrates, zero fiber, one gram of sugars, and four grams of protein. Let's open up the can and see what Denny Moore has in store for us. At first glance, it basically looks like a condensed cream of something soup. But then you get the very noticeable canned chicken soup smell as soon as you open it up. It's not a bad smell, but you can tell it's a canned chicken product just by the smell. Even after I give it a stir, it's pretty thick and gelatinous. There's two sets of directions, stovetop and microwave. I'm not gonna dirty up a pan to heat up a dollar can of soup, so the microwave it's gonna be. Pour the contents in a bowl. Once I poured it in the bowl, I went back and read over the directions to make sure I didn't miss something because it was really thick and it looked like I needed to add water or milk, but it didn't say I needed to. So into the microwave it went. Then microwave on high for three minutes, stirring at the two minute mark. After microwaving on high for three minutes, our pot pie or soup or whatever it is, was ready. I wasn't gonna eat this as a meal, so I wasn't gonna bother making rice or noodles to pour it over. I just wanna be able to take a couple bites, to taste it, to see what it tastes like, and the texture of the meat and vegetables. And that's pretty much what I do with most of these foods. There's no way I could keep this chiseled Adonis-like physique eating garbage like this all the time. I gave it a good mixy loo and scooped up my first bite, which resulted in two pieces of potatoes. They were typical canned soup potatoes, somewhat weird in texture. I went in for the second bite and the results were the same, just smaller pieces of potatoes. At this point, I wasn't sure if I was eating chicken pot pie or potato soup. Where's the meat? On my third scoop, I searched around some and found some chicken which turned out to be the familiar small chunks of chicken like you would find in Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. It's not all real chicken, but it's just enough chicken flavor to give you the feeling you're eating chicken. But that texture, it's what really gets me. Spongy, spongy, spongy. Bleh. By my fourth bite, I was starting to get heartburn, I guess from all the saltiness. Oh yeah, did I mention it's pretty salty? As though King Neptune himself seasoned it with his Atlantic water source. My last two bites, I guess I got what was a piece of celery or green bean and another potato. Whatever the green vegetables were, they had no taste or texture and I could not tell what they were. That was when I had to throw in the spoon and go take a Tums on top of my daily Prolisac. 
Maybe if you had some leftover meat and some sort of vegetables and wanted to mix it in and then serve it over a starch, it might work out okay. But the lack of flavor and the saltiness and the lack of content in the sauce was not good at all. With that said, it's not really rateable and I'm not going to give it a rating. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, please consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.